Computer Screens and Contact Lenses, a malware museum, solar roadways, and internet from drones. These are today's bits. The next evolution in display technology might not actually mean bigger, higher resolution screens. In fact, due to a recent proof of concept coming out of Australia, the next big thing might just be resting in your eyes. Contact lenses with a polymer coating that can conduct electricity and is safe to wear. With these qualities, we are looking at a display being held right on your eyeball, delivering you high quality porn anywhere you want it without disturbing the person next to you. Because rule 34. Just Google it. Now, of course, when I say the next big thing, I mean this is still way early in development, so don't expect it anytime soon. There are still hurdles that need to be overcome, like getting certain materials to work with each other and stick together. But once done, we might have a new medium to enjoy augmented reality without having to wear some really ugly pair of glasses. Speaking of ugly, archive.org now has a new section that will allow people to browse through and experience old viruses. Dubbed the Malware Museum, users can enjoy the pixelated greatness of all of the groundbreaking viruses that ran amok during the days of DOS. These are gonna be viruses that popped up in the 80s and 90s, and some of them can get a little creative too. I may or may not have spent probably about an hour going through them. I can say that my favorite one has to be the crash.com virus. I can't help but to imagine the helpless look on someone's face when their computer screen starts going bananas and they have no way of interacting with it, especially when the whole computer thing is still new. And I know some of these viruses are just plain evil and all, but you kind of have to admire the skill. To check it out, check out the link in the description. Solar freaking roadways. I don't know if you've seen or remember that YouTube video about a guy who was designing solar freaking roadways. Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. What do they want from me? Well, they're solar freaking roadways. But in France, they're planning on laying over 620 miles of roads with built-in solar panels. When I first heard about this idea a while ago, I thought it was just pure genius. I mean, we have so many roads out there that's just wasting sunlight. It only makes sense to turn them into a power source. So France has the right idea. Now the roads that France is planning to build will be fairly basic. This in comparison to the original idea that would allow the roads to carry things like internet power and LED lights being built in that would display lines and other road warnings. But if all goes as planned, they are set to provide power to 5 million people. The design of the solar roads will allow for vehicles of all shapes and sizes to use them and be able to last just as long as conventional pavement. Of course, it's gonna cost a shitload of money to build them. I mean, at least probably half a billion dollars or more, but it's a huge step towards going green on a national level. 5G internet from drones. Okay, that's pretty cool, but what's even cooler are those same drones being solar powered and capable of giving us internet speeds of up to 40 times faster than the 4G we have today. All of this brought to you by Google or Alphabet or Google Alphabet. In recent events, they have been testing these drones out in Spaceport America in New Mexico. And of course, these drones will not require a pilot for them to stay in the air, giving a whole new meaning to the word Skynet. Get it? Sky... Never mind. So yeah, this is all still in testing. And I'm sure there are miles and miles of red tape that will still need to be cut before this is actually commercially available. On top of the questions of how reliable or affordable they will all be when and if they come out. But the idea itself is still pretty cool as it might allow Google to quickly roll out a vast network of connectivity, as long as they don't crash and burn, and provide competition to the big carriers. Bonus stories. The Pirate Bay has launched a new beta feature that allows people to stream their illegal content right from their browser. Using a plugin called Torrent Time, users will only need to click on a link to start watching a video. Now, aside from my duty of telling you not to pirate things because it's completely wrong, but I also want to tell you not to do this because it's a trap. Kind of. I mean, the plugin required almost literally turns your browser into a torrent client and will broadcast your IP address to the world as it shares your ill-gotten blockbuster with everyone else. This is how Popcorn Time users started getting sued. So just don't do it. Ever. 
The primary mirror for the James Webb Space Telescope has finally been completed. Being way overdue and way over budget, now the only thing left to do is putting the rest of it together and launching that bitch up into space. So by 2018, we can finally see what aliens are having for dinner. On the topic of space, you can now enjoy a new 360 degree video of Mars. You can look around just as you would if you were strapped to the top of the rover. More videos like this are planned, so this should only be the beginning. And yes, the video doesn't actually move or go anywhere. You just get to kind of look around. Okay, that's it for today. Follow me on Twitter at underscore bite my bits. Make sure to like and subscribe to this video below, and thank you for watching.